The way then this problem is set up is that we can just consider our kite border to be a blob or a point mass at the end of the ramp, traveling upwards at 12 meters per second. And we're given the angle 17 there. So lots of ways to consider this. There always are with these sorts of questions. So first of all, let's just put a little construction line in there. I would think the way I would do it would be to think that this guy is going to travel in a symmetrical, yes, that's symmetrical, parabola there, and then consider this to be their starting point. So we know that at that point, their velocity is going to be 12 meters per second going downwards, and that's because it's symmetrical. So we can use that as our starting point and then look to consider the effect of this extra height that our chap's going to fall. So let's look at um, the triangle then and see if we can work out the components. So right back at the start, we have this triangle. So our initial component in the vertical, sorry, in the horizontal component is just going to be 12 cosine of 17. And obviously you need to be really comfortable with these components. And the vertical component is going to be 12 sine 17. So then that means we've worked out now what our initial component in the vertical direction is going to be. As we said, 12 cosine 17. And in the vertical direction, I'm going to make downwards as positive, so I'm not going to have to worry about any signs in this question because I'm going to say down is positive now at this point we're considering is going to be this. Now we know that the horizontal component is constant, it's not going to change and that's because we can ignore air resistance as it says in the question. So the question really hinges on what happens to this downwards velocity over that 1.8 meters that it falls. Well there's an equation for that. So we want to know the final velocity, which is going to be equal to the initial velocity, plus 2as. And of course we know that a is 9.8, s is 1.8. So we can then say that v squared going downwards is going to be 12 sine 17 all squared, plus 2 times 9.8 times, oops, pen just glitched, 1.8. So bunging in the numbers and square root in the answer to give us V, I get 6.9 meters per second. Remember that's downwards. So now that we've got the two components of the velocity as our kite, kite border or whatever it is, hits the water. So now we can consider that as a vector triangle. So a horizontal component, which as we know is unchanged, and a vertical component like this. And we're therefore having to find the sum of those two components as it were so anyway there's our triangle so now we have going across in the vertical direction sorry going across in the horizontal direction even we have 12 cosine 17 unchanged constant and then going down we have 6.9 meters per second so now it's just pythagoras so we know that uh, the resultant or the hypotenuse i suppose we should call it really I put new squared is going to be the other two squared, so 12 cosine 17 all squared da, 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 plus 6.9. So that will give us that h squared is equal to about 131.7 plus whatever 6.9 squared is, which is 47.6. Add those together, take the square root, therefore h is going to 13.4. Which, now remember that looks like h for height, but it isn't really, it's the velocity at which is entering the water. So our final velocity then, 13.4 meters per second. Ta-da!